Hello, happy Thursday, December 5th. So, I have finished my graphic novel. It's kind of dark. Let me move it over a little bit. I have finished my graphic novel. Am I there yet? By Mari Andrew. It's the loop de loop zigzagging journey to adulthood. Well, as you all know, I am an adult. However, um, I love reading graphic memoirs. Um, so I was kind of interested in this. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so, and it, it, it wasn't too kiddish, so. Because you're like, but you're 40-something. And I'm like, yeah. And I could still read stuff like, well, what to expect when you're in your 20s and 30s? I'm like, well, let's see. What did I expect and did that actually happen? Um, I did give this three stars. Uh, oh, actually, I'm sorry. Three and a half. And there's a reason why I gave it three and a half. But, and I'll explain the extra half star. So, um, I thought it was good. And, of course, the um, illustrations are cute in it. It's horrible. This was jobs in your 20s. I like how she, and she also wrote um, different paragraphs, a couple pages. But the pages she wrote was when she was traveling. So I love it because I love reading about traveling stuff. So she went to Spain, Granada, Rio, um, all different places. And she compared the traveling to life in her 20s. Berlin. Berlin was one of them too. Um, life in her 20s and 30s. So, you know... I went here to find love. I went here to find myself. And she wrote about her father dying and how that felt. Grief, you know, dealing with grief. So it was very informative. Um, funny in some part. You know, obviously funny because, I mean, not everything has to be serious. So, you know, there's funny little drawings and stuff about it. So I thought, in all in all, it was a cute book. Um... I always, and I was telling my coworker this, I compare everything to Lucy Kins Kinsley because I love her stuff. So I was trying not to compare this to her books. Um, but it was, like I said, it was a cute book altogether. At the end, I really kind of glimmed over the advice because I'm like, I don't need advice. <laughs> I've been there, done that. I'm good. But the reason why I gave it extra half a star was this at the end. And I don't know if I could see it too well. Hold on. So, okay, so she's holding the vase, she drops the vase, and she turns into mosaic. So that's what I like. I loved it at the end, because it's like, okay, I, I broke something, but I'm able to fix it. And you compare that to your life. I've had a broken life, and I was able to pick up the pieces and put, all, and put it together in a different way. So I really like that picture at the end. I was like... Yeah, that deserves an extra half a star. So three and a half stars for this book. So again, it was Am I There Yet? by Mari on Andrew. And it is a nonfiction, true story, graphic novel by the author. And of course, the back is also cute because the back is also like different things on here. The volcano of passion. He 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 he. But it wasn't like... And the nice thing is... When she talked about love, she didn't talk about sex in detail at all, which was nice. So it was just basically generic love. Like, I don't, like, as she says here, I don't mind being single. I've been on a lot of dates, blah, 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 but nothing, like, too out there. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too risque and nothing too R-rated. So that's why I also like. So not only can adults read this, but even teenagers can read this. And what's expected in their 20s and 30s. So this is even good for, like, a teenager to read. Because it's perfectly fine. There's nothing like R-rated in it at all. Like, yeah. So, alright. Uh, that's my review for this graphic novel. Well, that's it for tonight. Um, okay. Until later. Happy reading, like I always say. And bye. And have a great night. Pleasant dreams. See ya.